last question. What do you guys... <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I love you so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we actually haven't seen each other face to face in over a week. That's why I'm like, <laughs> we have separation anxiety. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to Kind Time. I'm Pamela Pagano and on today's episode we speak to the founders of Lady La, Desiree and Joelle. Please tell me how you guys met. What's your story? Oh, good question. We met, uh, what, 15 years ago through uh, Joelle's then best friend, which eventually became one of my best friends. and. We worked behind a bar together for over 10, 10 years, eight years. Um, it was, was actually just five. Really? <laughs> Janelle has built something with one of my best friends um, that has this impact on our children, on our friends' children, on women and men. And it's just, it's very, it's very humbling. We always believed from the beginning that everybody has a story that can make an impact or inspire somebody else. We always worked with people and then motherhood isolated us a little bit more than we, um, I guess, anticipated or really wanted. And then there was this moment that we really wanted to reconnect with people. Um, and we just gathered people together. And in that, we wanted people to share stories that they had told us through difficult times and also kind of extending our network because we knew that we're very fortunate to have um, really good networks of friends, but the more that we were evolving in the world, we realized there's a lot of women that, that don't have that. So uh, we wanted to take everything that was given to us and kind of like share it with other women through what we were doing. We became like emotional intelligence advocates, warriors, you know, crusaders that we wanted to show people that to develop your emotional intelligence is, kind of, is the best way to communicate with each other, to understand each other. Essentially, it's just real people sharing real stories. And it started, as Joel mentioned, with us and our friends and kept that way for a while. But then by word of mouth, a lot of women were like, wow, I'm connecting with this woman. It started from with women and then it grew outside of our circle to literally a diverse group of women from all over Montreal and internationally online. And then it extended to men because again, we're all human and we all need a space to practice. Um, and then it's extended to the corporate environment because again, uh, this is just essential. We create a space for you to take the time, slow time down and to actually think, how am I feeling? Then the action of actually speaking it out. So it's kind of like a two-step process. And now tell me about the wonderful opportunity you're offering your followers and even beyond your followers, the online convo or how did you call it? Even pre-COVID, you know, we've always been great advocates for connection and for cheering our friends on, our community on. Um, and it was always very important to us to cheer on women who were doing the exact same thing as us because we've always believed that there was room for all of us to shine, like everybody, we have to pivot. We've created an online convo where we just check in with each other. We check in, we you know, pro help process some of that emotions. It's not too heavy, but again, it's just the, the, the art or practice, whatever you want to call it, of getting together. And not being scared to say that, you know, you think it's very hard or that you're a little relieved or like whatever your feeling is, it's a safe space and no one thinks you're saying it with someone else down, that it's really just based on your own reality, which is always highly encouraged. Perfect. So they just need to go on to your website, on your social medias, and they could join in through there? Exactly. And most will be via Zoom. Thank God for Zoom. Yeah, mm -hmm. for real. So now tell me why your name like why did you choose that to represent who you are we were thinking we're like what do we both like and then we were like we love flowers and then we were like we love colors and we were just kind of like throwing things back and forth and then at some point i said you know i've always wanted to call my daughter um lila and then desiree told me that her daughter nev the second name on the list was lila and so i was like that's so cool. Spring flowers were always so um, meaningful because you, sometimes in the de death of winter, when the snow banks are up to here and you're like, 
the snow, the, the snow will never melt. Mm -hmm. Nothing is ever going to be green again. Like it's impossible that all of this is going to come to life. And then somehow it does. And somehow the wind changes and it becomes warm again. And then these flowers come out and you're like, wow. And so we kind of put all that together and we chose that the lilacs. So les lilas represent that. And that's what we wanted us to represent. I love listening to you say it. <laughs> oh, so now, last question. What do you think kindness is? To me, kindness is, I mean, putting, it just being patient and kind and considerate and giving to, to others, but including yourself. That's what kindness is, is slowing whatever's happening around you. Just slow it down to really be present with the person that's there. And sometimes it's kindness to yourself. And then when that's when we say like, be kind to yourself, it's either slowing things down or the voices in your head or slowing your life down for you to give to yourself. I thank you so, so much for that. And I can't wait to meet you both in person. Seriously, I really can't I'm gonna wait. love you just to let you know, we're huggers. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for tuning into Kind Time today. Like Desiree and Joelle expressed, really try to pause time right now and find what truly makes you happy. And remember to think happy and be kind. Bye bye everyone.